we get told always to look at the camera. One of the challenges of looking at the camera is that you don't see you did not push the record button. I've just done this wonderful, wonderful share with you for you guys. Really amazing. Yep. <laughs> didn't hit record. So you know what? I can tear myself up about it or I can have a laugh and we can get going. Okay, guys. So there was a comment on a video I posted a while ago and I'd like to share it with you and I want to just touch on that comment. It says, I am 52 years old now and I still can't shake off the pain of being labeled during my childhood. I wanted to chat about childhood labels and the fact that they're actually our gift, our secret weapon. So as a child, I had i was told i had severe learning disabilities i had dyslexia and i had adhd and i struggled to sit still i struggled to concentrate i struggled to do my homework and i struggled to read and i struggled to write that was the label that i was given i was also labeled by certain teachers in primary school as being stupid and being told i'll never amount to anything that stuck with me and that hurt and every time i tried to read and i couldn't i felt more stupid every time i tried to write and my handwriting is terrible i felt more stupid to this day as an adult i have to catch myself and be careful when i try to read and i can't i feel stupid if i have to read in public it was terrifying but then i realized as I got older and as I started to work on myself in my sobriety, that that pain of being labeled is actually a strength. It's a superpower because when I think of that pain, I feel it as a child. I feel my pain as a child. And that's what I've begun to realize as well or have realized over the years. We feel as children and we think as adults. So I was feeling my pain as a child but I was thinking as an adult. So I thought, hang on a second, I can use this. I can turn this pain from being labeled as stupid, from being labeled as lazy, from being labeled as someone who would never amount to anything in their lives. How does a teacher tell a child that? From those labels, I realized that they activated my pain. I could think about them, I could sit with them, and I could feel them, and I would feel that pain come up. I would feel that shame and that guilt and that uselessness. And I thought to myself, you know what, I can use this. When I'm tired and I want to call it a day, but there's still work to be done, or if I'm really not feeling like studying and I have to, or whatever the reason being, if there's an uncomfortable conversation that I need to have with someone that I'm avoiding, any time I was procrastinating and avoiding, by the way, that's another whole other video. Every time I was avoiding stuff I had to do but didn't want to do, I could remind myself of that pain and that shame and that guilt. And that would fuel me. It would make me angry. It would upset me. It would bring out, oh, I can actually feel those emotions in my shoulders and in my shoulder blades. It would make me feel that that's it. I'm not stopping, I'm pushing through because I'm not stupid, I'm not lazy, I'm not whatever my label was. And what that turned out to be was me desperately fighting to be loved, me desperately fighting to be accepted. My labels were stopping me, they were like giant concrete walls between me and the love and the acceptance I was trying to find because I was telling myself because you're stupid, you don't deserve love. Because you're lazy, you don't deserve love. Because you can't read, you're no good. You don't deserve love. None of that was true. But the way that it made me feel was heartbroken. And I could turn that heartbreak into anger. And I could turn that anger into fuel. 
and I could use that fuel and that, that anger and that pain to fuel my journey and push through. So every time I want to stop doing something, for those of you who know me well know we were crazy hours and I'm able to do that by accessing my pain when I need to. It's like a double shot of espresso. Just thinking about it. Am I stupid? No. Am I lazy? No. Let's go to work. Let's get done what needs to be done because I want to build a life and find the love that I need. And what happened over time was the more that I pushed through, the more that I worked, the prouder I became of myself and the more I started to love myself. And when I started to love myself, I realized that was the love that I'd been looking for my whole life. That was the love that I desperately, desperately needed my whole life life. I was trying to find that love from others. I was trying to find that love in beer, in alcohol. I was trying to find that love in self-sacrificing myself to people I should never have sacrificed myself to. I was trying to find that love in approval and acceptance of others. Ultimately, it came from within. That love came from myself. Labels are just walls between the self-love that we desperately need. But what happens is we realize the love that we need is not on the other side of that wall. It's within us. And we can start to grow that self-love by doing things and building our life. Every time I worked hard, every time I pushed through limits, every time I did more than I thought I could, I was proving to myself how much I loved and cared about myself. I was proving to myself how much I was willing to sacrifice for myself. And all I wanted was someone to love me and someone to prioritize me. So when we use our pain from our childhood, the pain of those labels, to fuel ourselves, to push ourselves forward, we're proving to ourselves how much we're worth, how much we love ourselves how much we deserve the life that we crave and the love that we crave because that life and that love is within us. It's who we are. So we can choose, guys. We can choose to use our pain to become bitter and angry and resentful. We can choose the labels that we were given as a child to believe that's who we are. Or we can understand that the people who labeled us, the labels they gave us are their labels. They're not our labels. They were labeling us. They were showing us everything that they were. The teacher that told me I would amount to nothing when I was in Standard 3 and that I was lazy and no good, she was probably telling me everything about how she felt about herself. That's the gift about being an adult. We can realize that the labels people put on us are their labels. They've got nothing to do with us. We want to label ourselves with the things that we're proud of, that we're grateful for. We want to pick, you want to be the best po possible person you can be. Write down the labels you want to be. Write down the labels that you look up to and that you aspire to. And then build your life on those labels. Work towards those labels. Make them badges of honor. Our labels are our superpower. They give us the fuel we need to build the self-love that we deserve. They give, give us the energy that we need to push through and prove to ourselves what we're truly capable of, how amazing we are, how wonderful we are, how gifted we are, how special and unique we are, how we, we are. I love you guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Oos.